What is up guys, it's Noble here from Johnny Roger Airsoft, and today we're talking about Revelations. Revelations 4, the registration has officially been opened for that, and um, we are very excited about it. The operation itself will be happening December 14th and 15th, as you've probably seen if you're a regular browser of our YouTube channel. We have a lot of stuff going up for it because really that's the main focus for the next few months. It's our next big operation, and we are all very excited, so we can't wait to show you the uh, whole lead up into that how we prepare, what we do with all that. But again, I just want to talk to you about Revelations today because it's a really cool op. And um, yeah, a lot of other fields seem to be taking this up. Now, Balahack is a great field located in Chesapeake, Virginia, that's southeast Virginia, near the coast. It's in a big swamp, so it's actually a really unique place to play. You get a good mix between urban, open fields, and jungle kind of stuff. So, and there's room for all at Balahack, and um, it's a very reasonable price, $20 for a regular Saturday admission, and they do a lot of other fun stuff too. Now, we've been attended Operation Cairo, Tim vs. Bob 4, uh, what else, Revelations 3, I went to Revelations 2, and I believe that is it, but those are all fun ops, they do a really great job at Balahack, and um, we really enjoy playing there. And Revelations is really their pet project, and it's really a cool op, because it's very unique to Balahack. Uh, essentially, the new format is it's a role-playing game, like Fallout, where all the players are survivors. Now, in the early days, you had factions, two factions, or three factions in Revelations 2. And essentially, they fought each other for control of the wasteland, and it was a lot of fun. You had a lot of cool, unique, apocalyptic themes. But Revelations 3 was then they truly made it a unique experience because they took away the teams. No more teams, you're all survivors, and you just go out there and survive. It was really fun. And the objective of the day for Revelations 3 was to secure shelter before nuclear winter through whatever means possible. Now the Jolly Roger Airsoft team, we found a uh, house in the town and we kind of stumbled into that and then we sent people to go raid a group of poor survivors and stole their tin so they died and we survived. I was not a part of that raid and I pride myself on that to this day because I still have my integrity. But you'll hear me messing with the other people about that. So if I talk about tin roofs, I'm talking about a Revelations 3 event. But really it was a lot of fun. Uh, they do a really great job of immersing giving you an immersive experience. You're out there all day, and um, yeah, since it's two days this year, it's gonna be extra, extra, extra fun. Uh, it's exciting to see all the information coming up. The information is up at Balahack Airsoft. Check out their website, www.balahackairsoft.com, or check out their Facebook page. Of course, if you go to the Balahack website, you can get links to pretty much any of this. So yeah, feel free to check it out. I really highly recommend Balahack for a field. They do a great job, nice people, and great players around there. So yeah, I can't speak highly of them enough. Now, Revelations 4 we're really looking forward to because it is a role-playing game. It's unique. It's not just two teams, you line up and shoot each other. You actually kind of have to think and survive and backstab or not backstab. You can do whatever you want, and that's the beauty of it. Now, it takes a lot of themes from Fallout, like the currency, bottle caps, or stim packs, or other goods like that. There's also radiation zones that you can't walk in without special things, or there were last year. And, um, yeah, it's just a really cool experience because you get to really live out that post-apocalyptic uh, post feel yeah, for a full day, and it's really awesome. You also get a lot of cool loadouts, and it's nice to see what people do with this loadout, because you can go with a lot of different ways, and I'm going to be posting a lot of different loadout videos coming up soon, just as I try to figure out what I'm going to do, because there's so many options when it comes to creating a post-apocalyptic loadout. It's unique, because not everyone's a SEAL, and you really you can't dress up like a SEAL, because that completely ruins the immersion of the whole experience. So I highly recommend Revelations for um, we are all very excited. I think we're gonna have a pretty large group this year, and um, yeah, it's gonna be a blast. I cannot wait, and that's again December 14th and 15th at Balahack Airsoft. Uh, check out their sites. This is essentially a Balahack commercial, really. But yeah, we really enjoy Balahack. We thank them for all their hard work in creating a very, very nice field here on the East Coast. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend Revelations 4. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about uh, Balahack or about Revelations 4, feel free to get in touch with us if you're going. Again, feel free to comment, message, whatever you want to do. We love hearing from you all. We love to hear your ideas. And if you have your own kind of loadout ideas or whatever, feel free to post away because we really like to see the whole community get involved in this. So, thank you for watching. Peace out.